So it's the summer of 2014 and your opponent has just activated Mystical Space Typhoon targeting your set, Call the Haunted. You chain Call the Haunted and target a Deneb in your graveyard. Do you search? The answer to that question is surprisingly complicated and actually depends on which TCG region you are currently playing in. But in order to answer that question a little bit more concisely, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of the game's history and start in 2002 up until a specific point where everything kind of changes. We're going to go through the history of this scenario and other scenarios like it and figure out what makes sense and what rulings we're going to use and when. What we're going to do is we're going to replace Deneb and start at the very beginning and replace it with Disc Commander. In, in this scenario around 2007, so 2002 up until a certain point, so we're in 2007-ish right about now, but this ruling would apply again before this and after this up into the point, and we'll get into that. Disc Commander does trigger to draw two cards despite it being destroyed because its trigger condition was met. This scenario also applies to using a copy of Monster Reincarnation, discarding Dandelion, and then targeting that very same Dandelion to add it back to your hand again. Just because the card is no longer in the spot it was in when it activated, so Dandelion does activate in the graveyard, when you activate Monster Reincarnation Target Dandelion, Dandelion's trigger condition to be sent to the graveyard was met, and at this time, therefore, it will add or summon two tokens and you will still add back the Dandelion. Also at this time, up until around 2011, we will see an interaction with Enemy Controller and Sangan. So let's say we activate Enemy Controller and we tribute Sangan for cost. And as Chainlink 2, our opponent chains the Transmigration Prophecy to shuffle Sangan back into the deck. Sangan still would trigger again just like Dandelion because it met its trigger condition. Now this changes with the release of Extreme Victory. In the Extreme Victory Rules update, we change it because of this card here, Reborn Tengu. So once Extreme Victory comes out, let's say Chainlink 1 Enemy Controller, Tribute Reborn Tengu. Our opponent chains Transmigration Prophecy to send Tengu back to the deck. Uh, Tengu at this time will not trigger because cards in the deck can't meet their trigger. They must remain in a public place in order for them to be able to meet their trigger condition. A public place at this time would be considered the graveyard, banished, or the hand because of the Dandelion ruling that we stated earlier. Now we can take that exact same scenario and replace Transmigration Prophecy with DD Crow. At this time, Reborn Tengu would still trigger because Banished is still a public place. Now we need to fast forward to around September or October of 2012 and revisit the Monster Reincarnation and Dandelion scenario. Now starting at this time, Monster Reincarnation and Dandelion does not work the same way because the hand is no longer considered a public place. So Monster Reincarnation Dandelion no longer generates tokens. The first evidence of this ruling actually being like being used was YCS Miami in February of 2013, but it was announced prior to that in around September, October-ish of 2012. Hey guys, brief editing insert that I wanted to do. So I don't think I really clarified the whole cards can never meet their trigger condition in the deck. Uh, so that's essentially saying like it's something with Reborn Tengu and either like Wing Blast or Compulsory Escape device. If that were to remove Tengu from the field, at no point in time in any of the history, if Tengu was printed in Metal Raiders and those cards were used on it, um, it would never trigger. If returning to the main deck, never ever triggers a card's effect in terms of when this card leaves the field. The other thing I wanted to clarify is the whole the hand is no longer considered a public place. This does not include like if a card like Tengu is compulsed or say returned to the hand with Gen X Light Birdman, it still triggers in the hand. It's just saying, let's say if it's tributed for cost with Econ and then it is returned to the hand later as Chainlink 2 before it could activate, then that Tengu doesn't activate. That has nothing to do with cards like Birdman and Capulse where it triggers in the hand versus being in the hand after it met its trigger condition by being banished or by being you know sent to the graveyard. Now that Dandelion ruling might sound a little confusing to people who are really into Meadowlands format. So YCS Meadowlands, which was an, uh, an event before Nationals, before the release of Tachyon in 2013, so essentially it's the Evil Swarm, Dino Fist, Mermel format, um, we have the Abyss Turge and Heavy Infantry ruling. 
So essentially what people would do is they would use Abyss Turge, discard infantry, add back that same infantry, and judges ruled that infantry could trigger. What this interaction allowed people to do was use infantry to pop Soul Drain because it states that monsters in the graveyard can't activate their effects, and since infantry is no longer in the graveyard, you are able to use it to pop Soul Drain. Again, this is an incorrect ruling that was only specific to this event, but if you are going back to play this format, you should be using this ruling because it was how it was ruled at the time, despite it being incorrect with the precedent set of Monster Reincarnation and Dandelion. Now we're going to fast forward to Nationals of 2013, and we're going to be talking about the Mermails and Atlantean rulings in regards to DD Crow. So let's say we activate the effect of Abysteus as Chainlink 1 and we discard Dragoons to the graveyard. Our opponent chains DD Crow, banishing Dragoons before it has a chance to activate because of being sent for cost. In North America only, Dragoons will not trigger, but in Europe it will. This is an interesting ruling that was, again, exclusive to North America. So that is why we had the 2020 ruling update that stated that this interaction no longer worked. If you're a modern player and you're like, hey, they said this in 2020, what is this about 2013? This is essentially them homogenizing the rulings between TCG North America, TCG Europe, and the OCG. At the time, they were all ruled a little differently. This is them saying, hey, everything is going to be the same. Here's how it's going to work. We're ruling it like TCG North America. Outside of the Compulse Absolute Zero ruling change in 2020, where extra deck monsters no longer meet their conditions, similar to like monsters in the main deck, like if you wing blast Tengu, that never triggers. Um, we did get one inter interesting ruling update. The example I'm going to use for this is Heratics here. So let's say we have a Heratic Dragon of Sue, and we use the effect of that Sue to tribute Tefnuit. Um, to pop a back row. Our opponent changed Transmigration Prophecy to shuffle the Tefnuit back into our deck. Until 2020, that card, that card, that Tefnuit still triggers to summon a vanilla from the deck because it just met its condition of needing to be tributed. It doesn't state that it needed to be in the same location, and that's another difference between Atlanteans and Heretics here. So until the 2020 ruling update, Tefnuit would still summon a vanilla when shuffled back into the deck uh, after being tributed for cost by Sue. So now we're back in 2014 with our original scenario. Does the Neb trigger? Unlike Disc Commander, it will not in North America and then in Europe it will trigger again until the 2020 ruling update when everything was homogenized. Um, this video took a ton of hours of research going through old judge forums, Pojo posts, I'm um, using the Edison and Goat.com ruling libraries. It's been a very difficult job. If you enjoy content like this, please like and subscribe. Um, we really appreciate it. We'll do more of these if this does well and things like that. I know the discussion videos are pretty interesting for people, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe for more retro format content. Thanks for watching, guys.